respond into your mask, the Gossip Stone says, I heard T2 isn't very good at Zelda. Well, I beg to differ. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Come and get me. See, look, I didn't take damage. Hello, Cobras, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina Time Randomizer. I am Triclad Tamer. We are doing some more Child Link stuff. This is my third session, technically, because this is the uh, next day of things. We are making a brief visit here to the mask shop because I need to get a hold of that school mask before I actually go too crazy over there in that there Lost Woods. So how about we equip our school mask just to have the fun for things? To potentially feel the urge that school kid may be announced for Smash. Oh man, sounds fun. I don't trust that gossip stone. I don't know what it'll say, so let's just put on a creepy face and get moving along. Uh, I do not want to turn in the school mask. I want to simply play a sorry song for this school kid here. Well, it's not really much to watch out for, so let's just play sorry a song right here. Get a reward from you. The reward being a new piece of heart. Are we up to 10 now? Uh, I think we're up to 9, yeah. I'm trying to do my counting. Going forward, it's time to see if I can shoot this here thing, you know, the thing in the woods. Let's see if I can just do it like this, because I don't really feel like messing too much with my dead zones. Oh, I thought I had a good angle for everything, but no, I'm just doing it like this and failing every step of the way and see if I can get down like that and keep on failing. Alright, took a little bit of trial and error and I didn't feel like changing my settings for everything. That's probably the most precise movements of stuff we have to do in the game. I mean, there's going to be the horseback archery, but... Uh, it's not quite as bad with the aiming. Hey! Alright. Bloopy more and more of those for the counter. Alright, I'm not gonna bother checking stuff off quite yet, but where I want to go with this skull mask of mine, sweet child of mine, is over here to where the Deku Theater Forest stage is gonna be, if I can find the entryway among these butterflies. There we go. Uh, just get in here and have it equipped and have everybody be all intrigued by me. It's like, whoa, what is that thing? It's absolutely insanitary and unsanitary. We're gonna say, say in case it's a thing that could be crazy, like, what if it gives me 500 rupees? Alright, are you gonna do the thing? Here we go. <laughs> You're being weird. Alakazam! No, Yuri Geller is copywriting things and adding more things to the counter. Alright, now let's go give this thing to the school kid. My oh my, what a creepy mask you have. All the more to sell to me. Let's lose a little bit of money on the deal, not that I care very much. Aren't you that kid under that there mask? Quite an unusual thing. Once you give it to me, Yow's I'm gonna wear it all the time and lose you on the profits. Oh wow, I'm so sad. Before we get too poppin' all crazy like to the mask shop again to turn things in, let's go play Sorry a Song to Darunia and see what lovely thing he'll give us. Unfortunately there's no cutscene to watch, so I'll spare you the expense of being rather close to his loin area. Maybe Link is just trying to be a Gorn himself. Man, uh, I feel like there would be some kind of odd age rating for this. I can't really uh, save, say, here once I'm already doing my talking because it's only a piece of heart. Making our way forward, I guess. Let's make a next change right here where I started the episode, but I was a little bit slower getting into the door. I'm already singing along with the music so I can pick up the spooky re-dead mask. Always must demo it within the place we are within as well. Very spooky, ah! Yeah. I can't wait any longer. I must play the sun song on regular speed here, then speed it up as I do things like this. Just to show that there are three rupees to get from here. I don't think I even knew that in the LP, or maybe I did, but I was too busy co-commentating with you-know-who way back then. I probably should do some co-commentary on this just for old time's sake, but probably not with the same person, but oh well. That was a long time ago anyway. Oh yeah, we can get this here Sculptulator as well if we were to shoot it properly. And I'm not shooting it properly because I'm at a very weird angle to where I can't shoot properly. Man, that really had spooky mask as it's called. It's kind of weird from this angle. Maybe it's just the emulatorator. I don't know. Catch you later, emulator, as I go up to get the same, even though I already have it marked as 25. I wanted to keep it as 24 as long as possible, though. <laughs> And now, so as not to cause any annoyance with any certain kid, let's get some crazy rupees from you. I'll give it to you, and yeah, get some crazy profit from the kid. Very surprising. By the way, if you didn't take notice already, I've updated the tracker, not to a different tracker, but to show where the things I need to get are located. Here's the bunny hood, but I don't think the running man is running right now. I think it is triggered the by the same thing that would trigger the Ocarina of Time cutscene. Having all three spiritual stones, of which we only have one. So that's going to be a later project. And also, unfortunately, we cannot run faster with the bunny hood. People consider bomb shoes to be such a finite resource in this game. 
but not very many people seem to know that you can go to the back alley and buy them around here. 100 rupees for any set you do. It may look like a tiny mouse, but you can get stuff right here. I was considering getting the big rupees from the graveyard area, but uh, we can only hold 200 with the adults wallet, you know. I'll be honest, we're kind of running low on options for things that we can do, aside from grab some sculptures and see if that's the lovely thing, the steel safeguard, which I believe is going to be the big girl on sword, either that or neighbor's love, but usually the hint would say something about love. I'm also going to do the thing I can do in the spirit room at Ganon's castle with the hook shot, so how about we go do that? Alright, long awaited bomb grabbery. Dang ol' using hook shot to get around. <laughs> I thought it would be angled just properly enough to where I couldn't get things done. Ouch, I get injured and I'm just gonna go for that recovery heart anyway, instead of moving these dang ol' armbos that don't attack you around. Ooh, let's be careful not to get hit though. I don't know, maybe it'll be a recovery heart that I can get and I'm gonna be running pretty low on options. Hey, Torch Slows, I could have seen you guys in the uh, Fire Temple, but I can't really do much there, especially without the Megaton Hammer or a small key to do much of anything with. Alright, let's start simple right here with this. And there's the first chest right here. Oh man, you better be something great or grand. Let's see what it is. <gasps> Fairy bow. Yes, I can do some very option tested things. So we can go straight back and finish the fourth simple. So that's one thing I can fill in. As well as, you know, plenty of other things. So I'm pretty well opened up. And hey, with the bow, I can also get the rather difficult chest in here. Let's see. I'm trying to get to bomb shoes and situate myself properly and get at the proper angle to shoot them so I can get into the next room. Taking all this time for this. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Would have thought it wouldn't have done a thing. Wait, you only really need a bomb shoot to get to this thing right here, which is just another chest if I can get it without the lens of truth. And this is the ice arrow. Not exactly useful, but it's helpful if I want to do a rather obscure thing, because of course it's a prize of the Grudos and all this being weird. Uh, I want a chest. Can I do Dim's Fire here? Not that I need to get any more chests in here though, because it acts like things are weird. Yeah, it doesn't really reach. But what you can do is situate yourself like so, and let's just break out our bows and do some fun testing. You can aim it and hit the web just about like that, but let me try that again. Yeah, not that situation of everything. Uh, just take me away for that you can do it. Just about like that. Of course, it only makes these sun statues appear, of which you need to hit only one of them. I hear you, Mr. Wallmaster. I'm gonna be careful. Get my practice for you guys on the Force Temple and everything. And also, maybe get me some coinage if I want to buy stuff. You know what, Naboru? I kinda like you, so what I'm gonna do is shoot you like this, even though I don't think there's really a thing for me to shoot, so let's just act like I did and say I didn't or something. Let's kill my nuts, okay, usually it would be magic, but there's a magic there. Usually it's arrows and magic, or hearts if needed. You know what I'm glad for? I'm glad I don't need to deal with your ugliness, because you only give me couch cash. Not too necessary, even though it's always welcome to be found. But not when you have to fight the dead for it. Infinite sword glitch again, because it's very gratuitous for the two seconds I can utilize it. The village, the village, the village is on fire. But while we're here with our new fairy bow and the arrows and everything, we can go in here and do the shooting mini game and lovely do things. I'm gonna make my save state before. How about a shift of two save state just to bring that variety into everything? All right, let's get ready. Also, always have your bow doctored ready to go before you get too blasty with everything. Oh, dead zones. Don't be too crazy for me. I already know things can be like this. It's Pretty much the same pattern you would see as a child for the slingshot game. So things just don't change, you know. Uh, boom, oh yeah, getting things done perfectly so far. Oh, I thought I would have been able to hit it, but nope, I'm doing kind of perfectly, but I don't want to mess you up, of course, as soon as I say it. Kaboom! Yeah, it's actually not quite as hard of a minigame. What do we get? Hey, Bloopy! That's our only reward here. Ah, makes things so much easier. Yeah, yeah, sorry, the four spirits are calling for help. I'm on my way, but it's full of beautiful monsters. I don't want to talk to you again. You're gonna stay alive to hear my voice again. Ha 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 ha. With great gratuity comes great governance. Let's miss the ice witch completely and make that appear. Alright. Now for the things that really matter, like block switches that would normally be a bundle of arrows, of which we can now start seeing instead of blue peas that would replace them. Maybe we'll find a good item. 
Ah, now for the moment of juice or something. Let's blast you like so. Make a save state. State dominum. At your mother, empty bottle with the Rudo's letters. So now we have four bottles, but we can't count past three as I previously stated on that one. So yeah, we just have to count things a little bit separately. We have a wob one, so let's say wob one like a Jamaican. Bring him thoughts to season two of Luke Cage, because why not? Ooh, Iron Fist is coming up, and it's starting to look like it might be better. I don't know, <laughs> from the one thing we've seen. And hey, Navi, look! Look how things are going. Watch for the monsters that come from the ceiling. I know what's to come, and then let's move out of the way a little bit. And hey, the first bundle of arrows. Welcome to losing your virginity on the counter and not be completely bodied by bloopies. I want to get bloopies out of you, even though I only need 27, and <laughs> yeah, you're giving me more than enough. Alright, ouchie, I gotta... Yeah, I'm just gonna squeeze past you. Actually, I do need to kill you guys to get things moving along, so... I'll just bump up against you. You can also just shoot my arrows, so... Yeah, I don't really want to waste too much of anything, though. You got blasted and span spun upon, dude! Gosh! Alright, this should lead us to the floor master room. I'm just gonna go over here for these recovery hearts, and also there is a sculpture I can... Nabula Nib. Well, gotta be careful with the words I'm saying. Let's grab you and bring me up to 27 Sculptulas. Hello, big boy. I just sliced your face and you've done damage, huh? Wait, I still needed to recover a little bit. Alright, let's go fight this floor master in here. Let's see if maybe I can just shoot my bow on you like that and make you despawn everything. Oh, I thought it was like killing you before I had to kill your spawn children. Yeah, give me plenty of magic that I don't exactly amando lead need. Maybe just to fill that tiny little crease that looks like there is of gone magic. But hey, a small key I need, so I can take that back to where I once was and twist things around again, which happens to be accessed from here. Trick shot. Let's do it. Kaboom. Nothing. Sort of trick shot. Let's sort of do it. Like kaboom. Oh yeah, hit the top frame of everything. Oh yeah, do my jumping and repositioning, and get to doing things like that, and now we can start getting ourselves some pose. Oh yeah, save two seconds of time. Alright, how are we gonna get started on this first gal? There's like, Joelle, there's uh, Beth, Amy, and one name I don't exactly remember, because there's four pose sisters. Do -do -do, there's number two on you right there, then you're simple enough right there, as long as I don't take super duper long. And also, an easy way to deal with these chicks once they disappear is to, um, not on them. Uh, it's always so awkward to say. Of course, you can also just hook shot like this, but it doesn't really provide much use for you. So, if you like that, you do your nuts, and then you jump. The final process of everything there is going to make a bundle of arrows appear, but not one for the counter, because, of course, it's a thing you see in the field, and I thought it was going to disappear before I went too crazy with everything. I'm also using out my arrows quite a good deal as well. What we got? We got your key. Okay. Got your pawn key. And we gotta fight these Stalthos in here. Pretty basic. Just be careful not to fall into the floor. Where exactly does it fall down to, though? I never really pay much attention to it. I think it's the first go to our room based on the circular room that how things been before. And let's actually look at our map and see what it looks like as well. Do -do -do, drops down. I believe that is indeed the Stalthos uh, Stalpho from down below. I remember, like, in episode 2 or 3 or something, I called it some Stall Children, a Skulltula, I don't know why, I just feel more compelled to say Skulltula. This is like the one situation in the game where these dudes mend each other if you don't kill each other soon enough, as long as you well, yeah. kill them soon enough, not just yourself. We can also nut on these guys, so why don't I? Let's uh, do that, we're balancing our damage pretty well, let's see if we can nut upon both of them, ha ha ha. See, am I being funny? Hey, one of very few times where the game would lag for you, probably even on regular N64 hardware. Alright, what's this compass or map chest gonna be? I mean, it would be the bow chest, of course, but it's probably gonna be one of the things. It's gonna be a the dungeon map. Alright, just fill in those things. Alright, onto this next room. I didn't really talk much. Alright, let's uh, be strategic with this and not be super close because this one's a bit more challenging. As long as we don't get super close with things, I think it also takes a little bit of time as well. Take some time to realign, not realize, because it's up there, but I don't want to be too close while I do my shooting. But it wasn't lining up well. I like to do it from the bottom of the chair, stair, well thing. I didn't see the man up there on the stairs, but I didn't do that in here. There's Beth, one of the post sisters. We know what to do. Yeah, yeah, be gone, ghost. Piss off, ghost, at that. Not just the one in 
uh, not Guardians of the Galaxy, but Guardians of the Ant-Man and the Wasp Part 2. Another small key, because we do need to want to get past this room. I'm just zooming forward, not even just with the speed up button. Because we know what the Forest Temple is like, it's a little more lit in the other version of the game, 3D version. Let me pop a key here to get moving along. Uh, we don't have the uh, regular fire arrows, so let's just uh, have a little fun, but not be careful to drop down too much. But be careful not to drop down too much. Let's we'll see if I can have some fun with this. And I just have a good feel with this, because you hit it one time, but it counts as both the things you need it to do. It's just the small things, you know? Yeah, yeah, get past the green bubbles and keep on doing the Mike Wazowski thing. That's like a theme for this LP. Uh, I can just do a scarecrow setup there, but there's no real need. Let's be ready for this collapse in room as I go along. The previous room with the eye switch was being kind of annoying for me because, like, wait a second, where's the ladder? But wait, it's on the eye switch thing itself. Let's just uh, zoom around not to get around to the stuff and be in the safe spot right here. It's like a way to gauge yourself and hello, iron boots. What a fancy time to see you within as the wall does its stuff. Let's uh, be careful to get past through and everything. I take care of Amy, what you want to do? I think I can stay with you for a while, maybe longer. If I do, I don't even know what I'm saying while I'm singing. And I gotta be careful with my block pushing here. Ooh, barely made it. Hey there, Amy. I killed you, and the sister I'm forgetting is Meg. I think Beth is the one that is the so-called secondary mini-boss, because there's like so many mini-bosses, because like, I think it plays the music when you're fighting the first Salfos, and then the Salfos you get the bow from, the three of those technically, because there's a weird bloody one. Then there's you, of course. I think you are the Beth I'm looking for, not the droids I'm looking for. I know you're doing your stuff, it's like a weird cutscene. Uh, oh, you're Meg, instead of the other one. I didn't really pay attention to who was doing this stuff, but hey, I kinda went with some blind luck there. It's usually the one from a weird corner anyway. Who's gonna be doing the spinning? You're doing the spinning. Alright, simple enough. I remember doing this in Twilight Princess, and back in Twilight Princess I was like, ah, I just wanna do an Ocarina of Time, even though I played Twilight Princess before Ocarina of Time, so I had the feeling of the pose stuff the first time I beat Ocarina of Time and associated it with Twilight Princess. Not a lot of people are like that, you know. I'm just playing through this stuff, and of course I don't really want to pick up the things of the bow. They're called arrows that I drop along the way anyway. And hey, there's that. I have the thing dropping out, and I definitely want to grab that so I don't really mess up on my ammo to fight Phantom Ganon with, but I messed up anyway, so I'm just kind of speeding up doing this mess little puzzle. There's a skill chill to get, and one more final chest to get in this dungeon as well, so... If you're enjoying the speeding up, the way I do it is just push it all the same direction, but just keep manipulating your variables as you move along. It's really not that difficult, if you were to ask me. And of course, the Skulltula is specifically next to a bigger Skulltula, so that's kind of your cue to listen for the scritch, scritch, scritch. Perpetual Dandruff. The item of excitement as our final chest it is a bundle of arrows. It's like a bundle of arrows with the two things, but I'm going to count all bundles as a single bundle thing for the counter. So that would be number two. This here switch is the final switch, even though it's only looking like it's opening up a way to the thing that we've done before, but yeah. <laughs> No fairies here, we can just go to that one Salthos room if I want to recover that quarter heart of stuff. Oh man, it's a nice little art gallery of a place, but I think I'm about more with it. Oh man, those spear things could almost impel me to bump up this game's rating to maybe T. Hello, Phantom Ganon. Are you ready to be shot, Phantom Ganon? Oh, I thought I would get damage to you and had enough of a window to do it, but I guess not. That's my comeuppance for stuff right now. Uh, yep, I'm just uh, doing this fight. Okay, let's not fail, you know. I'm trying to hit things on. Oh, I figured that wouldn't be a good enough thing for the hitbox, because you'd think his hitbox would be gone by the time he stops fading white. I think he's still doing this stuff right here, so. Just gotta listen for the stuff anyway. I think there were multiple at that point. I don't know. Nah, I think it's not until this one. It's like the final hit anyway before you get to phase two. Uh, where is the sound effect coming from? Uh, you're right there. Oh, boom. Oh, I missed you. Gotta watch out for the thunder. I'm taking damage because I don't have the double defense, you know. Just zooming through with the zaboom bafu. I'm gonna save say here, so let's see. Where are you gonna come from? No, you're twisting around me. Ouchie. Wait, did you drop damage there? I guess I did. 
Uh, I don't really want to use anything in my stuff. Actually, do I want to use the fairy? I mean, if I take the damage, I will. I want to test maybe light arrows. Nah, they wouldn't do anything because the regular arrows wouldn't. So, yeah, let's just do that and get ready for good old Deadman Volley, of which I failed the first little thing for. So, let's do that right there and there we go. We don't have the rolling sword to do any crazy jump attack damage, so that's rather unfortunate for me. And, of course, things get messed up if you don't use a bottle for anything yourself. Come on now. Let's see if I can get you done in as few things as possible. Of course, this not really gonna happen if I keep messing up things up like this. Alright, let's just uh, try to spin the attack keys. That's not really happening too well. I'm mashing. Yeah! Rah! Chip! Rah! Chip! Rah! Rah! There we go. Now let's do a final jump attack and then stuff like this. And okay, there's still a little more to do. Can I have an easy phase though? Alright, easy enough phase. Kaboom! Split your skull, even though you're pretty much a phantom anyway. Haha, <laughs> what a merely useless puppet that will prepare you for the future against me. I think you're tougher than the Ganondorf fight. It just takes a little bit longer to do the other stuff in the Ganondorf fight itself. And yeah, there wasn't really much else to find. Just a compass, so you're pretty much guaranteed to do that. And it looks like the Forest Temple is done. Do I have all the sculptures? Yes, I do. I just have to pay attention to the thing that was there. And getting done with the Forest Temple, it's going to net us the Light Medallion. So, let's click out of things and get that done right there. I know I'm getting all my stuff and getting things like this. I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. Right, the Sage has his stuff to yours, even though that's... Sorry, yeah. <laughs> so, find out next time what song we're going to get from having the Light Medallion. We already have the Prelude of Light, so let's see what's going to replace it. I suspect Minuet of Forest. Until next time where we find that out, do not touch yourself and remember. Crouch Stab. It's fun. Let's get, let's get, let's get.